Scott has a whole arsenal of computers, but mm -hmm. there is an app that he is linked to that is truly one of the best things that we can provide to all of you, especially yeah. th this weekend. That's right. When traveling for the holidays, yep. nothing like having that weather app. Right and, there, uh, Scott. That just it's shows. like taking the weather center with you, bringing yeah. it yes. with you on the road because you may be traveling. This will work anywhere you're headed. In fact, it will follow you as you go. So I've got my iPad right here in my hand. You can get it on your mobile phone as well by searching on your side in your mobile app store. So this is the main page here. This the forecast page. Lots to see. The forecast is right here in the middle. I can click on either day up top and you'll see these start to change right here. If I push ahead to Saturday, you'll see Saturday's weather and that pops up in the box here. You've got your sunrise and sunset here. This is all of the hourly information right down the bottom here. Every single hour that you'll want to see as far as weather goes, wind speeds, cloud cover, that type of thing. This little box right here is nice as well. It's looking at wind speeds now over the entire time frame. Let me switch directions here so you can see this. So you can look out. That's just wind speed. I can change that to temperature and to show you how the temperature is going to change over all the days as well. So there's all kinds of information that you want in detail, including, of course, your current conditions right here. Now, the most important thing that I really like to do to track things is going right up to here. We're on, we're on the uh, forecast page now. We're going to click on the map page right here, and that'll turn you, over, turn you over to the interactive map. This right here is where you can really check out things that are coming in. In fact, it'll show you your current location. If I press on home here, and I can change locations to Boise. I've got Warm Lake in here, Blackfoot, Idaho. Push on Boise there, and that green dot tells you where you're at. That's your home, so you always know where you're at. When you're traveling on the road and you say use current location, which is right here, it will follow you wherever you are. Here's where we are, just north of uh, downtown Napa. You'll see the green dot uh, right in here, over here. So this will tell you exactly where you are. This is some light snow showers that are actually tracking in, so you could tell where these snow showers are, and you'll be able to track with them. This quick fix up here, we can change it over from snow showers and weather to just tap that that this is road weather. Very important for travel because it'll take the oranges here and show you where the icy conditions are in the roadways. If there's fog, which is very seldom shows up in anything else, you'll see it here. Fog will be shown inside here. And I also want to show you one thing on all these different map layers. We've even got earthquakes turned on. And if you look closely, all these little dots here, here's an earthquake. I can hit that and say it was a 1.5 magnitude earthquake near Missoula, Montana. So you name it, weather earthquakes you got it it all comes with you search on your side for your yeah. mobile phone or your ipad and it's free and it is absolutely it's free. free so <laughs> I tonight actually, only no no no, no no it's free we're giving it to you because we want you to have this information in fact right. scott knows let this last summer i really started using it because i was traveling in missouri and we had severe weather That's coming right. in mm -hmm. and i pulled it up on my phone and we literally tracked it and knew when to get inside it was very cool and it tracks yep. it has cool. storm tracks for severe yeah. weather there's special information on here for severe weather as well and you wonder why people feel lost when the power goes out because yes. if they don't have that with them no true they really get used true. to now it. you've got it thanks yeah. scott that was cool yeah. coming up next after a faint glimmer of hope